will ever admit it, YouTube proves that street racing is alive and well in Tucson. If you could quantify the number of people and number of cars that do what you do. On like at least four to five hundred. So big that it's gotten a lot of attention lately. An officer involved shooting last month that's still under investigation and a scuffle with TPD last weekend over reported loitering. It wasn't even like that. Um, I always have my child with me. You know, it's, it's a group of, it's called Team Ohana. From Team Ohana to Tucson Muscle and every local crew in between. Car are catching a lot of flack. Because they drive or ride in a modified vehicle. Raise your hand if you feel you've been wrongly profiled at some point. Okay. That's why we brought in several local crews. This diamond in the rough. I don't think a lot of people here uh, utilize this. The new and improved Tucson Dragway, purchased six months ago by drag racing legend Jim Hughes. All they know right now is street racing because they've never been introduced to drag racing. With 40 years of professional racing under his belt, not to mention a 2002 champion on the NHRA circuit, Hughes is bringing his track to Tucson Street Racer. We want to try to offer a venue here to get the kids off the street. Uh, too many of them get are getting hurt. There's been TV programs out now that are endorsing street racing, and it's a tough deal. There's a thousand local street racers are expected here tomorrow night. It's a fantastic place, but it just hasn't been taken anywhere, and I think Tucson deserves better than what this track has gotten in the past.